Greetings, you people. Hello, my king. I was going to, how has it been? This is Mariah Stone. I do indeed welcome you to some Moon Hunters, a game that I've been following since the Kickstarter, um, roughly a year or so ago, and, um, I am thoroughly enthused. I, I've been able to play a little bit of it since it was given to me, and, yeah, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited to see what's about to take place. The game is procedurally generated, and you take the guise of different heroes, and you make your own mythos. Every single decision that you make, every action that you take, will make up your story later, at the end of the game. And you can unlock constellations, which means what? Unlocking constellations does, well, different unlockables in the game. For instance, this character here has a new outfit from one of the last games that I've played. That's a nifty looking outfit. He looks more like a god, I suppose, a demigod at least. And uh, there's also other types of uh, characters that you can play, such as the Sun Cultist, type traitor, uncompromising seeker of enlightenment. And we're going to take control of this guy, I think. Um, we're going to see what he's all about. Um, so we're going to go right now to Sargon here, and we're going to change the, um, the name of him to something a little bit more fitting, such as King. Kinu, maybe Keanu Reeves, or Kinu Reeves, or something, I don't know, anyway, uh, that's done. So hit enter, and we're done with that, and we can change the outfit. White hair! Sure, white hair! I really like the, uh, the avatar down below, though, the pixelated avatar. The game is gorgeous, man. The pixel art in this game is gorgeous, it's so beautiful and lovely. Now, here's something else we can do. Where are you from? We can choose to be whether we're from a dust folk, a desert tribe that relies on seeker of waters to survive the harsh summers. Now, as a sun worshipper, that seems... Mm, proper-like. Secretive tribe in the heart of the cedar forest, hiding in the shade of the great trees. We could do that. We could totally do that. Regardless of wh who we start as, we can go at any one of these places. But for the sake of, um... I don't know what sounds right. I'm gonna go for the Dust Folk, I believe. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm skipping the story. Because I want you to see it for yourself. <laughs> We're nearly out of water. We need to find somewhere to camp. Before the first moon feast tomorrow. Very good, so here's my character, he's got his arm stuck up in the air, no, that's not his arm, that's his, ah, I thought it was his arm stuck up for a second, but no, it's not, it's actually his little, uh, what would you call that? Oh, he's a melee character, he's a melee character, fantastic, also, I am destroying cactus, I am the sun seeker, destroyer of cactus, so far, I hope somebody writes that into my story, who are you then? Well, you're cute, regardless, I don't know what... Or why you are, but you are cute. <laughs> Kimosh, the restless. Oh, the sun cult isn't famously generous, but please take pity on an old man. I just want to survive until I reach my family. Ooh. Well, how do we start this off? Um, I'm going to share. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how to repay you, but I'll find a way. Meet me in the Dust Folk Village tomorrow. Kinu gained compassion. So wait, the Sunfolk aren't known for their compassion. However, as... As, uh, Sunfolk... Kinu... Has gained compassion. Maybe he is the most compassionate of all the Sunfolk. Could be. What are you doing then? May I be guided by the Queen of Heaven and the Great Mother in consecrating the stone in my travels... What are you, a storyteller, then? You're inscribing stone. Oh, that's nifty. Maybe you'll inscribe my story one day. And maybe you'll like my story. I just moved the uh, cursor out of the way. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's move over to here, then. Um, that looks like enemies. Okay, fine. Uh, uh no. Okay, how do, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I do things? No, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, whoa. Oh, that was cool. What the hell? Yeah, coming through... Yeah. Never mind. I'm just gonna melee you to death. This is taking too long. You have survived way too long. Also, I had health on the ground. I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Doesn't matter. I'll just take the the beating and then heal myself. All right. Excuse me. While I um. Hey, that worked. Awesome. So these guys are ranged, and I walked into melee range and got hit. Hmm. Do I have a ranged ability? 
Let's take a look at my abilities real fast. Um, right, so Flame Tackle is the B button. Long dash hits enemies in your path. Hold to leave a flame trail. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to try it out on the next person that we find. Oh, uh, next enemy, not just the next person. What kind of story are we going to write? Well, Kinu was a murderer. Um, is that everything then? Every single map is procedurally generated and things change all the time and items change all the time. The things you can interact with change all the time. So you might want to explore a bit and uh, make sure you didn't miss anything because uh, it's very easy to do. Things aren't um, highlighted for you. You have to go and walk up to, face to face, and meet everything and hope that you don't forget anything. Okay, but I think I'm pretty good. Let's go on up here. Well, we're good. We're gonna camp. Are you sure you want to camp for the night? Yes. You begin to camp for the night. Now, in camping, in camping, what does that mean? Camping means, um, wait, I only killed four things. Uh, I'm a pushover. Few can forget the name of Kinu, who sought peace and balance between sun and moon. Because I'm compassionate. Lovely. Okay. It seems safe here. Let's set up camp. Very good. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to just rest? Hmm? Hmm? Because this, this is going to be... This right here, the most of the mundane things, is going to be part of your mythos. What did you do with your life? Were you known? Were you renowned for cooking? Did you stargaze? Did you go hunting? Like, what kind of person were you? Hmm. Were you a resting sort? Did you keep watch? Your vigilance? Well, I'm trying to think of myself. Kinu being, um, sun cultist. What would we do? Living in a desert has taught us not to waste the night time. We can move easier at night, and perhaps hunting at night is the best course of action. So let's go hunting. Kinu goes hunting, but comes home with only dead rats. Well, I'm not the best at hunting, am I? Kinu gains two strength and a reputation as foolish. Great. Let's back up. We're nearly home now. Well, that was less than best. Right, so we're on the outskirts, and we're going to go to the bazaar. Who are you, then? Oh, yes, a hero of the ages. That's you, certainly. Yes, <laughs> Especially when you spin your opals. Spin my opals. We have... Right here, the ability to not spend any opals because I don't have enough. I've got 14 of the needed 15 to buy either the Flame Rider or the Flame Chakra. Hmm. Well, behind you, you have pots. <laughs> that actually work. Well, that's fantastic. All right, so now I can buy something. So Flame Tackle goes farther when charged. I like the idea of it. I never even used it yet, but I'm going to be using it, and it sounds very useful for closing the gap. Well, let's go inside of here. What is this, a school, then? A bird answers with a low warble. Maybe someone can teach you to speak with animals. Apparently, I have not unlocked that ability yet. I would like to be able to talk to that turkey. Not this turkey, the other turkey. Isimud ignores you, deep in prayer. All right. I'm just going to go back here and break some more pots, then. Anything up here? Nothing up here. Okay, we're going to leave, then. And we're gonna kill a cactus. And get some cactus water, maybe. I don't know exactly know what that water does. I'm guessing it's a desert. Maybe it just heals me. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing things. Amisa, the Keat Keeper. One of the Keats was born in the Mark of the Sun on this back. I haven't told anyone. What if we're cursed? What should we do? Wow. Kill the Keat or watch the Keat. Just keep... No, don't kill it. Just watch it. It'll be fine. He must now looks relieved and, ang and agrees easily to wait and see. Awesome. Don't kill it. Hey, patient. I might be foolish, but at least I'm patient. The elders ignore you. Comparing the achievements of their grandchildren, perhaps someone more prideful would join the boasting. I'm not a prideful person. At least not yet. Goat bone, the mender. I have some delicious leafy shoots and herbs to sell, but you'll need at least 50 opals to buy them from me. 50 opals, eh? Well, I don't have that. 
Not even close to that. The first moon feast is going to be the best. Cakes everywhere, says Damu the Camel Boy. Alright. Anything else I want to see? There's lots here to actually- Ooh, can I talk to you? The camel grunts, pawing the ground. Be careful, they spit. <laughs> Keep Marsh the Restless, I made it home, all thanks to you. I've already told everyone of your generosity. Will you also take my family's 20 opals, please? Ooh. Um. A favor for a favor, right? Favor for a favor. <laughs> Sure. Excellent. Then it's all set on will. Enjoy the feast. You gain 20 opals. That's 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 20 opals closer to getting whatever this guy was going to give me. Shoots of some sort. Also, I'm breaking your pots and I just got three more opals. Ah. Excellent. What's over here then? Karisha, mother of three. My, my, look at you. The sun is making it hot, hot, hot. I'll flirt. Let's do it. Charming. Hey. I see we'll have lots to talk about after the feast. Look for me. Okay. Here the dust folk bury the revered dead consecrated by tears of the goddess. Kubel the witch. I was chosen to be the seeker's apprentice. I hope I can learn the blood arts well enough to deserve the honor. Interesting. And that's a way to leave. I don't want to leave yet. I have other things to do. What's this then? The Queen of Heaven spreads her wings over the Dust Folk village. The Dust Folk say the moon is the rightful ruler of the cosmos and all its creatures. They say she echoes in the laws of our conscience. Hey, I am now proud. I can... <laughs> I'm proud. I'm going to go down here and uh, have a discussion with these people. Let's do it. The elders ignore you, comparing the achievements of their grandchildren. Hey, I have some achievements too, you know. Let's talk about those instead. I'm going to exaggerate. The elders furrow their brows at Kinu's impossible exploits. Kinu gains cunning in three spirit. <laughs> it's so awesome! Alright, what's this? Warfik! Ganamad! When the twin owls of the Pale Dancer fly by sunlight, an ill wind blows. Is this something I should remember? Because let's face it, I'm not gonna remember it. I could say that I will, but I won't. Talk to me. Kinu. I did not expect you to return. You are always welcome here, but I hope you reconsider your choices. It's time to start setting up for the first moon feast. Are you ready? Apparently, I have just entitled this person that I was talking to as Seeker. I didn't know who they were before, but now I have named them Seeker. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. All right, let's get started. The village has been looking forward to this. The village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. The singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. And everybody looks to the sun cultist. <laughs> Maybe. Everyone be calm. This must be part of the goddess's plan. We must pray for wisdom. The seeker turns to Kinu. Kinu. By all that is beautiful, I will destroy you if I find out you caused this. Apologize? Isn't apologizing, um, kind of admitting guilt? <laughs> Your words do not matter. Seek out the other tribes and find out what happened to the Queen of Heaven. If you can find a sworn priestess, maybe she can help. Okay. Very good then. Their whispering grows even quieter as you approach. They wait, staring until you leave. But I'm an outcast now. These people don't, they don't trust me. Helpless fear hisses through the villagers' whisperings. Each tries to comfort the other. The Queen of Heaven has abandoned us, but why? What have we done? Well, there goes, well, there goes my evening. My evening is now over. Talk to me. When the twin owls of the Pale Dancer fly by sunlight, an ill wind blows. He said that before. Talk to me. Maybe the Queen of Heaven needed to do some traveling. Like me. Well, that's the spirit, old man. That's the spirit. 
Don't blame me. I don't know why these people blame me. Also, the pots have respawned. That's fantastic. Does that mean that the pots respawned in here too? Because I need money. Let's go down here and get it. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of hearts. More hearts than I need. Um, ooh, 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 one more pot. This one's going to have an opal. No opal. Okay, fine. I'm leaving. And we're going to go down here. I feel like instead of the pots, I murdered the merchant. That would be un un unfortunate. Do I have enough money to buy? I do. Charge the base attack to throw a flaming truck room. The base attack? Yeah, I don't have that yet. I was going to save up to 50 opals to buy something from the other gen, but I don't even see him here anymore, so I'm just going to go buy that then. What's over here? What? There's a ghost. You weren't here before. The spirit speaks in a tongue that sounds like the wind over sand. Ah, something else that I haven't been able to... Unlock. All right. Okay, I may as well leave then. Any opal in there? No opal. Who are you then? Without the Queen of Heaven's guidance, how will we find the water we need? Uh, a shovel? Right. Um, merchant. Holy Orchard. This is the part of the game where, well, you can go anywhere. I can go here for no reason at all. I can go here for no reason at all. Or I can go here for no reason at all. Or I can go here for no reason at all. Although, it does give you an idea what's inside of here. Holy Orchard sounds like fun, but uh, so does Strange Sculpture. So I'm gonna go here. We're gonna solve this mystery. This mystery that we're probably responsible for. <laughs> that was interesting. It's on fire! I'm killing myself on it. Seriously? No. There we go. I just lead you through the fire as it is. Ha 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 ha! This is fantastic. Okay, look out. I bring down the wrath of the heavens upon you. Well, that didn't work. It did work, but it didn't work. <laughs> Come on, then. I'm dying here. I have to learn how to fight as this guy. This guy is um, a bit different from the last one. I had a ranged character that I played with. All right. Okay, so. Apparently, they, they hit harder than I do, so I'm going to have to be more careful. Right, here we go. <laughs> Ow! Shit! I'm going to die! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Don't do it. I need hearts. Give me hearts, please. Please, please, please. There you go. Nope. There we go, hot, hot, hot. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. I was getting really nervous there. Okay, I'm still alive. I just gotta be a little bit more cunning about my attacks. Okay, what's down here then? How do I bring up my menu? Wow. Right, that's my B button. That's my dash flame attack. I remember that I have that. There's my map. Excellent. I brought my map back up. Now I can see where I have been and uh, what I have yet to discover. So let's see if there's anything. Well, there's a strange sculpture. I found the sculpture. Let's go see what it is about or the person who is responsible for making it. Yes, I'm going to do the work of the Empress. Admire or inquire? Hmm. Let's inquire. You know, I'm going to admire. She smiles. If you answer the Lamassu's riddle deep in the desert, you will have bested me. Only the wisest may do that. I have gained the trait seductive. That's my second time of getting seductive, I think. Let's see what's going on here then. Alright, so they got a bad guy here, and I dodge around, and I move! Ow, oh, okay. Wait, 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 ow, 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 shit! Okay. This is difficult. Ha <laughs> On fire you are. Although, I've led you out of the fire. Get back to the fire. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Come here, come here, come here. No! God! Kinu crawls to safety. Losing opals. I'm not gonna lie. This is very, very hard to do. Okay, so, talking to you, I suppose. Sometimes I feel lost, directionless, without the moon to guide me. Nothing tells me what to do. What do you use to find your way? Um... Do I be honest? 
Or do I boast of something I obviously don't do? Let's go for instinct. My spirit feels stirred, muddied, without the clarity that moonlight brings. Perhaps we should pray that the Queen of Heaven's instinct brings her home. Briefly, a vision of your shared ancestors shimmers by firelight. The Seeker will chide me for lapsing in my studies. I must return. Maybe I can join you when I am stronger. You have unlocked the Ancestral Witch Costume for future adventures after this one is complete. Hey! I love unlockables. New trait, cunning. I am even more cunning. Now do I go for the hunt again? I am. I got rats last time. This time, Kino goes hunting and finds meat. Enough for a feast. I've gained 7 strength and 5 spirit. A larger shadow approaches the campfire. Well, hello again. I'm glad this campfire was yours. I needed to get away from the whisperers in the village. You seem like the picture of strength, Kinu. I'll arm wrestle you for a kiss. Let's do it. She's gonna beat me, aren't she? she she's gonna beat me. I know she is. You arm wrestle, and although it's a struggle, you finally win. She giggles as you kiss her cheek. Thanks for the fun. I should get back to my children, I suppose. Good night. Kinu gains five strength and a reputation for pride. As dawn breaks, a figure approaches the camp. King Mardo announces that the righteous sun has hereby vanquished and destroyed the temptress moon. Kinu, you may renounce your foolish quest for balance and rejoin King Mardo. Or you and your heathen friends will die in three dawns from now. Wait, am I? I'm a traitor to my people, but then I can also be a traitor. I can flip it. I can be a double traitor. I can be a dirty double crosser and, and flip it on this guy. I'll attack him. He expertly dodges and retreats. We only have three days to figure out what's happened to the Queen of Heaven or prepare for the Sun Cult's attack. Oh man. Now everything gets a little trickier. And that is going to end the first video. Look forward to more, because I'm not done playing this. Um, there's a lot more to explore. If you'll notice, I've even unlocked new things. In fact, honey, I could find in the parched bear lands. We're going to go check either that out or the holy orchard. Or perhaps even the blossom brushwood, which is dangerous. And I haven't even figured out how to, to properly attack with this guy yet. But we're going we're gonna to get better. We will. Maybe. <laughs> So I'll see you again in the next video. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. And I will see you again later. Have a good day. Have a good evening wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone signing out.